What's going on, guys? This is Jamil here. Um, I am aware of the ban list and that it is live. I did already take a look at it. So this is not a reaction, but I just want to go over... I just go over the list. Go over the list and express thoughts and opinions. Um, what could have been done better? <clears throat> what they might have overlooked, etc. Let's begin. Okay, so, um, I, I am surprised, but at the same time, I'm not surprised that Kieran took the, took the hammer. Um, I'm surprised in the sense, the, the fact that everything that came back, everything that, um, got hit, that Kieran would kind of be left alone to kind of check the, check things like Infernoid and, uh, Paleozoics, but... I guess not. You're gonna see a lot more of Paleozoics and Infernoids running rampant without any sort of resistance, as I should say. I mean, Metal Foes. Uh, yeah, it was Metal Foes, uh, Magician Pendulums. All those things, yeah, they may have abused them, but Metal Foes isn't really doing all that much. Well, I mean, yes, obviously with Zeus. But, you know, clearly these other 60 card decks were still taking the cake anyway, so. I honestly didn't understand. You know, I don't get the point. I don't really understand, but whatever. Dire Neptune. A uh, band. Yeah, it was obviously a preemptive hit. Um, although, even though it was purely for Lyrical Lucenia. There could easily be another card in the future that can get released to where now that Tyrant Neptune is on people's radar, they can find other ways to break the card. I mean, so, I mean, it was only a matter of time anyway. <clears throat> I mean, all they needed to do was put Neptune on people's radars, and then they could find... I mean, there are 8,000 other cards in the game. They could have found another way to break it, so... It is what it is. Um... Emptiness being banned, I mean, thumbs up to that, it's, it's been a long time coming, I mean, that emptiness is like one of those cards where either it needs to be at three or it needs to be at zero, it shouldn't have been one of those cards towards at one, because, I mean, I have my secret, I never drew it, but yet all my opponents always drew theirs, and they had like supers, they always drew theirs turn one, I could never draw one, like, ever, and that's why I took mine out of my deck. But yeah, emptiness at the right time, it could really put you in an awkward position, especially if you've already uh, blind twin twisted or something, because you're looking at multiple sets, like probably like three set. But yeah, there's that. Maxi, you know, I wanted this card to be banned, because again, it is too powerful, it's too good. But now that it's at 1, it's even more absurd than it was when it's at 2. Because now, it's just like, at least if it was at 2, there's a somewhat of a decent opportunity for both players to open it in their first hand. So, yeah, I can max see you, but you can max see me. And so, it's kind of fair. It's kind of a trade-off. But now, it's even more of a sack card to where... You have a much, much, much greater chance of one person drawing it over the other person. And it's even more of an auto-win card. It's even more of an auto-win card now. That's why Wavering Eyes went straight from 3 to ban. Because, yeah, if it was at 1, it would be good for Pendulum players. But the if you're mirror-matching Pendulums, the one, the one person who drew it pretty much just won. Beca all because the other person didn't draw it. So, this is that same thing. Yeah, Maxi is one of those cards to where it either needs to be a 3 or banned. I say ban because it's too powerful for this format to where you need to special summon to make a board. You know, and now you, you know, DDDs didn't take any hits whatsoever. So, Maxi definitely should have been banned. But, what else? Uh, Rescue Cat. Don't really care too much about Rescue Cat. I mean, I can see... Maybe raccoons. I mean, Nat Beast is still here. 
I mean, other than that, I mean, there's X Sabers. Just trying to figure out what. I mean, I knew it was broken in the past, and I know it's good now. But as like as long as it can't summon level four Beast Warriors, I can't see it being broken. You know what I mean? Uh, Brio coming back, which means it's definitely getting reprint in the um, Duelist Saga. Same with Rescue Cat. If all these things are coming back, they're all coming back in the Duelist Saga. I'm just going to put that out there. Brain Control, Rip, you know, Former Glory. Uh, let's see. Oh, man, I saw, I looked under Imperial Order, and I saw Barrier. I was like, yes, Dimensional Barrier. And I saw that it was an Infernity Barrier. I'm like, fuck, man. Still no Dimensional Barrier. That card is so much better than Emptiness. It is so much better. You can't stop it, period. And it's a normal trap, so Paleos just have a heyday. Ugh. Oh my god, why is D-Bear still at 3? Why is it still at 3? Oh. Uh, that card better get reprinted, at least, like... It better be like a promo fucking card to where everybody has their hands on that shit. That way, people could definitely start saying, Okay, yeah, this thing needs to get hit. It, I mean, does it really... Does it? Is that what it's going to take for everybody to have their hands on Dimensional Barrier? For somebody to finally you know call for justice for these de for every deck in the game that's not infernoid like come on man i feel like that's what it's gonna take for it to be like an emptiness to where it's like a super in a promo like of a fucking special edition or something for for this shit to be addressed for people to finally realize just how absurd that card really is and how much better it is in vanities because I feel like people aren't really addressing it too much because it's a 70 fucking dollar card and not everybody has their hands on it. But, of course, people want to start addressing things when everybody has their hands on it. So, that's what it's going to take. Uh, let's see, we got Wisdom Eye Magician. Yeah! It never should have been at one in the first place. Like, what the hell? Insight Magician is, I mean... It may as well go back to 3 with Link Summoning and the whole Pendulum rule change. It may as well go back to 3. Rack to 2. Um, it kills the deck right now, but the moment those other two Zodiacs come out, the dog, the one that special is one from the graveyard, is going to start being played again. I mean, it's just... Yeah, that's just how it is. It's just going to... Special amount of the grave. I don't know if Emerald's going to be the go-to anymore. But if it is, I still have my cherries for Emerald, so screw it. Uh, that's all I got to say about Rat. Uh, slumber to two? Yeah, I could still play Great Oak. I just was Slumber. Cool. Um, this format is just going to be so heavy on Infernoid. And Paleos, I need to find what, I need to see what deck is good against both. I know Banishing is great in, um, against Infernoid, maybe Heroes, but it's not that good against Paleos. Jinzo's good against Paleos, Danko's good against Paleos. It's like, what's the one's the bigger threat, though? Because I know Lamoy is a fuck. oh no, Fairy Tale Snow is still at three. Oh my god, why is that card still a 3? That card is way too broken. There's zero limit to how many times you can use that fucker. Ah, uh, I just noticed that. Norton is still here, which is... Eh. Let me see. Yeah, Norton's still here. Not surprised. Um. Well... Nordid's still here. Bahamut Shark's still here. Totally Awesome's still here. Looks like Water got a break. Um, the Aquamador Turbo kind of deck, I got a break. Um, ABC got a break. I, I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. Shit.
<laughs> I'm not complaining. I can actually play AB. Well, still can't really play ABCs because Dimensional Bear's at three. <sighs> Brilliant Fusion's still here. Awesome. Um, no, that's it. Okay, coming back. I just hate the errata, but at least saying he is back. At least he's at three. So, my sure it did not come back. Oh, poor sure it. Poor sure it. Strategist of the Nakaraz. You know, in. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Wait. Why is Imperial Order unbanned? I don't. Hold on. I don't see any changes. Where the hell is Anti Spell Fragrance? Why is Anti Spell at 3? Ah, uh, Imperial Order is a much balanced version of Anti Spell. At least with Imperial Order, you can play pendulums in the scales. Anti Spell, you can't even do that shit. Ugh. So we have four floodgates that can be used in Paleos. Why am I not surprised? Looks like Jinzo is going up. At least I saw my PSV secret, so. I just have one. I want a full set, to be honest, but. Okay. So, Zoo is going to take a break until Maximum Crisis comes out. Infernoid and Paleos are going to see more play. Unless you're playing an anti meta deck to lock down traps and, or like, whichever one's your worst matchup, you probably want to main deck outs for, like, okay, let's see. Like Macrocosmos and Different Dimension Ground, they need to reprint di Different Dimension Ground in the Duelist Saga because that card is so fucking hard to find. Like there's so there's limited quantities. Uh, mac, it, I mean, because other than that, you just have the one macro. Macros at one. Um, di I mean, when you, I mean, you need something to chain to because Decatron is still running rapid at three. I mean, you can main deck chain disappearance. Main deck and change disappearance ain't that bad, to be honest. Main deck and change disappearance would not only banish all the Decatrons, but it, it could banish the Alistars. So the fusions are dead unless you somehow have enough, a magical card to discard um, Invocation of the Graveyard. Which I highly doubt unless, like, Edolins or... Whatever you want to call me, vote. Unless they're running like twin twisters, or you want to like set it and try and blow it up or some shit, or set it and like overlay into your rank five summon Pleiades and fucking blow that shit up. That's like the only way. But you know, not only that, but Chain Disappearance can hit those Spot Frogs. It can hit Ronin Tonins. So yeah, Chain Disappearance being main deck seems to be. I actually. Uh, we gotta wait and see what change experience will actually do because yeah, I mean we people are mainly using it against Momorat if they were sliding it at all. But you know, it also hit Infernoid and invoked big time. See, I uh, could you could have cited things like Imperial Iron Wall, but it wouldn't matter too much because all your opponent would have to do is summon Decatron. And that be it. But if you can change his appearance, Decatron. And then wait to flip over um, Iron Wall, you're good. So, I will actually go online and get my three, my set of golds. Because those things are pretty thick. Meaning I could probably draw them a lot easier. So, there's my reaction, guys. Maxi should have just gotten banned, just straight banned. Now it's just a big, one of the biggest sack cards in the game now. One of us. I am sad that Shri didn't come back. I'm sad that Anti Spell didn't take any sort of hit. So now, I mean, people are going to take note of this and throw it right back into their decks. Anti Meta is going to be so good now. I love Anti Meta decks. I don't really consider Paleos an anti-meta deck, though. It's stun as hell, but it ain't anti-meta. Uh, barrier statues are going to really be rocking now. Uh, Carter Demise is still here. Awesome. Uh, 
Wait, well, really quick. I need to see just how much, how much is Carter Demise right now. Is it still 15 bucks? If it's still 15 bucks, I'm getting them. There we go. Carter Demise. What? Fuck! It went for fifteen to twenty-five dollars. No, no. Wait, let's check TCG player because fuck these orcas. Here it is, harder to my eyes. Okay. Damn. Damn. That shit went up. Damn. Immediately. And I checked Carter Demise two days ago. It was $15. $14.99. Average. Okay, guys. Well, that those are my thoughts and opinions. Again, I don't have much to say about Imperial Order because it's a much more balanced version of Anti-Spell. Uh, because it has a cost that doesn't stop you from playing Pendulum and just negates them. So, with that being said, can't wait to see how the format is going to be for the next month until Maximum Crisis come out. By then, I'll have my true King Cosmos at full power. You guys have a good day. Mm-mm-mm.